Uh, I was also there, I was 16 years old, 30 years ago, um, uh, with 200,000 or more Estonians, so it means one-fifth or maybe even one-fourth of the whole nation were together in one place. And, um, and this uh, singing revolution or singing evolution, I would even say, uh, gave sort of um, very deep uh, belief in miracles for me. I'm just now thinking. And uh, what has happened in these 30 years, there have been really many, many sort of miracles, I would say, or not sort of, but real miracles. <laughs> Uh, but uh, in Estonia, we have also many problems, as everywhere, but this uh, belief in, in miracles, maybe we have because of these, these events 30 years ago. Anyway, um, I will now shortly share how Estonia uh, has become sort of pilot country for Gaia education. Sort of, again, because um, it is self-declared, self-proclaimed. We haven't any official, um, uh, official letter from Gaia Education that we are a pilot country. Uh, <clears throat> I hope they, they, we, okay, anyway. <laughs> uh, so this is a very short um, um, overview, what I'm going to say, um, that Estonia, you can see Estonia here, red, has now Gaia education-based learning for nearly all age groups, maybe starting from the kindergarten soon, there is a person here who will start the kindergarten soon, uh, the Gaia school, Gaia academy for adults, and also Gaia education certified uh, courses uh, in Tallinn University. Uh, but maybe you all don't know yet uh, what is Gaia Education? So Gaia Education has literally grown out of this movement, this uh, eco-village movement, and uh, some of you have been the initiators. I was not one of them, so you can tell the story. Uh, but um, uh, eco-village uh, educators came together and uh, started to uh, think what they can offer together as a one whole curriculum that could really transform people's lives towards more ecological, holistic worldview. And um, this group is called GIS, and this is important because you can see it's Global Eco-Village Educators for a Sustainable Earth. And Gaia is Earth Goddess, and actually I did some reading, googling, and um, to my great surprise, I found out that uh, in, in Greek mythology, uh, Gaia is not only the Earth Goddess, but uh, uh, Gaia is um, somehow the beginning of it all. And that was really interesting, that before Gaia, there was, there, no, Gaia was the first one, and everything came out of her. Uh, so it's holistic, it has four aspects, uh, you know, economy, ecology, worldview, social, so it tries to cover the whole life. Uh, it's head, hands and heart education, so the whole being is included. It's transformative, it's especially good for change makers, and now it's in nearly 50 countries with more than 17,000 graduates. Uh, yes. Who, who, who is on that picture? Please raise your hand. <laughs> yes, <laughs> some people. So, there was a gathering three years ago. Um, why Gaia Education? Um, I think, I hope, most of you who are here feel or believe, or feel, are sure that the uh, uh, evolution of consciousness is happening in the world. And um, I think this is one of the basic, um, basic foundations of Gaia education, as well as, as the, there is happening this evolution in the consciousness worldwide, so we have to find new ways of being in the world. Uh, also, as I said, it's transformative, and as I'm doing PhD also on, on Gaia education, 
So one wise man has said, and I read it to you, uh, transformation involves experiencing a deep structural shift in the basic premises of thought, feelings and actions. It is a shift in consciousness that dramatically and irreversibly alters our way of being in the world. Robert Boyd. Uh, and also, I mentioned here widening perspectives. That is very, very important. Uh, this transformation means very much widening. You identify more, as Tönnies also told, uh, about home, that home is not the apartment or, or the house, home is the whole country. And in a way, our home is the whole earth, Gaia. And it is. Uh, this is, uh, I want to, mm, I want to greet my friend Jan Golding, uh, who is behind this United Earth Movement, who is unfortunately not here, but the picture uh, he has produced, or his team has produced, is, is um, very beautiful and important, and I use it while teaching students as well. So, uh, every field of human activity is experiencing some transformation. So, fields like justice or um, what you have here, arts, culture, anything, anything everything is going through some transformation. and. Uh, and uh, we have to find ways how this next level of consciousness translates into real being here in different human activities. So, this is now about Kaya education. Uh, but um, why Estonia or how Estonia has become a pilot country? Our journey started literally in 2006 here in Lillar, when Jonathan Dawson, who is here, uh, Ross Jackson, who maybe is also here already, and Hildur Jackson were here, and uh, we had a small conference, and then they all told about eco-villages. We didn't know anything <laughs> about them. And, um, and they said that there is a conference in Svanholm of Gen Europe, like that, and, and so we started the journey and drove to Svanholm, and then, um, uh, literally, a new world opened before our eyes. Uh, we didn't believe that uh, such people exist or such places exist, so it was literally eye-opening. And, and then we took from there, as uh, one thing, we took Gaia education from there and started to, um, started to, to move, started to translate it into Estonian and, uh, and started some pilots. So the first one was in one high school in Tallinn. Um, and then in 2011, we had the first EDE, Eco-Village Design Education. This is a jargon. Um, uh, EDE is the main course of Kaya Education, the main program. Uh, it lasts one month or about 25 to 30 days. And and uh, we had this first EDE in Estonia, and, and, um, and, and really many things happened after that. Uh, all sorts of things. Uh, really, I mean all <laughs> sorts of things. Uh, uh, and uh, um, it was so powerful experience for the people who were there present that um, actually I think part of this conference is also happening because maybe of, of this uh, uh, EDE. So, in, in 2014, two mothers who attended this first course in 2011 uh, started a school for their kids, Gaia School. And uh, as far as I know, or I'm aware of, it's the first uh, Gaia School in the world, the whole school. There are, there are many, there, there, there is a lot happening in Brazil, in India, in other places, but as far as I know, this is the first um, real school, private school, licensed school, and based uh, really, literally, on, on Gaia education. So today it uh, has, uh, in September there will be six classes, there are five locations and about 120 students. So it means, it, and it started with four students. So, um, uh, so this shows that there is an interest uh, uh, from the parents that their children attending such a school. Uh, also, I teached 
three years a bit in, in Tallinn Waldorf School and tried ED there. And, uh, and the uh, uh, students um, created their own eco-villages in groups and this was really great and lots of fun. And, 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 and these students, not really what they said afterwards, that this sort of brought their whole class together, this exercise. Uh, and in 2015, we started with Kaya Academy, uh, that is run in different Estonian communities here in Lillaro, mainly in uh, small footprint, uh, Hobogoli Park, Sven's place, and, and Hundialika. And um, uh, there are lots of activities there, but I want to draw your attention to this uh, most beautiful uh, compost toilet that we built um, uh, during the ED course in small footprint in cooperation with, with the small footprint community. So, um, a real, uh, real, real outcome. And I'm very proud. So, um, <laughs> uh, and in 2016, thanks to Michael very much, who is here, Michael Kangur, uh, uh, we started the Guy Education based uh, curriculum in Tallinn University. And, and uh, it's, let's say, half traditional, half Kaya education, but it's three years, and, and they visit the eco-villages, and we do all kinds of uh, processes and uh, circles and everything. Uh, it, it, uh, it's not easy. It's really like going, because I'm teaching myself there as well, it's going into the system, <laughs> and, and, and it's really hard to find a space where you can put chairs in a circle and you fight, and, and, uh, or uh, at least mildly, and then get angry feedback that please, uh, not please, but uh, put, your chair, put the chairs back as they were, and all, all this sort of stuff. It's real evolution happening uh, in, in, in Tallinn University. But it's also serious. How can we teach uh, guy education in, in rules? It's, uh, it's impossible. So I have to leave my job then. It's so serious. And in uh, 2017, Kaya uh, Education and Tallinn University signed very festively on 1st of September. Uh, May East, the CEO of Kaya Education, and um, Deep Land Director, and Michael Kangor, uh, the initiator, uh, signed the cooperation agreement. So, also, important step. And yes, so this has happened sort of, um, now this has not been planned in a way, but uh, as Estonia is quite small, uh, uh, I remind that uh, 1.3 million people, um, back to the uh, moment 30 years ago when 200,000 or 300,000 were together in one square, it means that um, if something takes hold in Estonia, in Estonia uh, really takes hold, then change can happen very fast. Um, if, if it doesn't take hold, no, then <laughs> nothing happens. So, um, uh, so the potential is that uh, Estonia could really transform education, and not only, only based on Gaia education, but all kinds of... Um, movements like Waldorf and Montessori and free schools and democratic schools and whatsoever. So basically uh, create maybe really something interesting sort of uh, 21st century school system. So this is a um, dream. <laughs> uh, and uh, Tallinn University could become, become one of the competence centers for that. And, and for sure I'm uh, I'm very sure about it, that uh, you, it means that the family of Chen and Kai Education, the large family, will all help us in uh, transforming our education. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Um. Üks küsimus veel, kui palju sügisel teadsa kooli läheb Kaia süsteemis Eestis õpilasi? No, kooli läheb siis umbes 25 või midagi sellist. 
kõigi kohtude peale kokku. Ja täiskasvu noid ka paar kümend. Need kõik need lisaks veel sellele saa kahekinule, keda sa juba kirjeldasid ja rääksid ühes koolis. No see on lastekool, jah, aga lisaks siis täiskasvanud. Ühesõnaga, et see ring on juba, noh, ütleme, üks paar seda inimest. Mis selle jõu on andud? Paar seda inimest ei ole üldse vähe, seda on päris palju, see on üks kiiresti kasvava koolisüsteem. Miks see nii läinud on? Väga hea küsimus. Ma arvan, et see on läinud nii sellepärast, et just nimelt ma ei näidanud juhuslikult neid pilte meie esimesest reisist sinna ja kenni inimesed mäletavad, et Eesti delegatsioon on alati olnud kõige suurem, kuigi suhteliselt suur võrreldes, ma ei tea, Saksamaaga või kõige iganes, et Eestis on olnud väga tugev tiim, väga suur huvi, noh, see tähendab, et on kandepind ja see, ma arvan, et see ostub väga hästi Valduri looga, et see eestlaste metsa poole olek, et see noh, nagu ühe väljendus või mitte ainus, aga ühe väljendus ja saab selle ka jaariduse näol. Jõudu tööle. Jah, peaks tõlkima ka. Kohe Anneli räägib selle joo ära, aitäh sulle. Aitäh. She will translate. There are 25 new students are going to Kaya school this autumn and there are around 200 people who are already learning based on Kaya education. So the community is raising and maybe it's time that all the schools in Estonia will transform themselves into Kaya educational schools. Never know.